How did you prepare to go into this? Because you're only quite young and this is your first time representing the Isle of Man at the Commonwealth Games. Yeah, this is my first time representing the Isle of Man in an in a experience like this. Uh, for sure, I put a lot of a work in on the, on the time trial bike and put a lot of work in physically before the event. But um, I think I just went out there and just uh, had no expectations on myself and just tried to give it the best again. Obviously, I'm still 18, so I'm still developing. But I didn't go out with the mind. I obviously went out with the mindset, think I want to do my best and for sure I'll try win. But I didn't go out there and say if I don't win, then it's not the end of the world. I just went out there and tried my best. And how does this course compare to other time trials that you've done? <laughs> oh, for sure. It's, like everyone says, a course like no other. It's um, it's uh, up and down through through a few narrow lanes. So it's great because it means people that are just in the house can come out and watch watch the a course event like the Commonwealth Games come past their house but yeah it's definitely a course like no other it's up down twisty so I think it's a course for, whoever wins today it's a course for someone who knows how to do everything and what were your expectations going in today uh, to be honest just do the best best I can and get to the finish with nothing left and get to the finish and cross the line I've done quite a lot of time trials so I sort of know myself in terms of when I crossed when I crossed the line if I have given everything and for sure I felt like that today and with the added bonus of going into the hot seat just for a little bit still made me feel that I did do my best so I was happy and content.